What is up YouTube's Mountain Man Magic and we have draft number five for the YouTube channels So let's get right into it pack one pick one. We have an awesome rare Atrata the silencer Big fan of this card. I lost to it a lot at the GP That was pretty fun and did pretty well with it in our pre-release So just have fond memories and not so fond memories with it, but excited to see it uh, personal favorite healers hawk the Uncommons, yeah, District Guide's not bad. Swarm Guild Mage isn't too shabby. Uh, Command the Storm, Goblin Electromancer's nice. Like, there's some decent cards, but Atrata's just, yeah, great rare. And pack one, pick two. Join Shields, not uh, quite so keen on that card. Lotlith Giant, kind of like, I kind of like that card. Necrotic Wound, though, big fan of this card. Let's see if there's a, something that's a little better, though. Child of Night, this card's proven to be more of a problem than I thought it would be. Darkblade Agent I do like quite a bit. Hired Poisoner I like. Passful Adept I like. There's a lot of cards in here that's pretty solid. And I think it is worth seeing if there's top tier black and or blue cards in this pack. I think Darkblade Agent's pretty solid. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of leaning more towards the Poisoner or the Child of Night or the Necrotic Wound. Like, removal's just a big deal. And I feel like if we're kind of fortunate, we could wheel one of these. Hmm... Darkblade Agent, for me, just has not... It hasn't done as much for me as I was hoping. And I think Necrotic Wound's just a solid black card. Maybe we don't end up with the uh, Demir being quite as open. Taking the monocolor card, for me, there feels a little better. Golgari Raiders, another personal favorite. Ocran Assassin. I like this card so much. So much playability. Angles you can take with it. Swathcutter Giant, not so much. Burglar Rat, meh. Christian Canby is great for the sideboard, not as pack one, pick three. I think it's between Whisper Agent and Unexplained Disappearance, and I think Whisper Agent's just better. It's a flash creature. It does have some surveilling action, so if we get something like a Dark Blade Agent back to us, we'll take that. All right, Creeping Chill is fun, but I don't think it really works exactly uh, consistently enough to be like a pack one, pick four. Thought Erasure is pretty solid, but is it solid or more solid than Whisper Agent? I mean, this is a great card, but sometimes, like, if they have a card with Jumpstart, or it's just something like you're playing Golgari, and they're like, I don't care, I put my best creature in the graveyard. I think just taking the creature here, again, is our best bet. I, uh, da, da, da. Yeah, I'm going to take Whisper Agent. Firemind's research, research. Words are hard. Whispering's schnitch. Could be a good two-drop into this, into this. Why not? Guildgate, meh. At this point, like, I would be all about a guild gate, but I think Barrier Bones or Whispering Snitch are just better cards for us right now, and I think I'm happier taking the Snitch. Disdainful Stroke's not bad either, but I like getting my creatures sorted. Makes me feel good, because I've had too many decks where I just don't have quite enough creatures, and then you just struggle to actually have enough board presence against especially more aggro decks. A third Whisper Agent. Do we want the 3-2 Flash or the 1-4 Surveil 2? I feel like Whisper Agent's just better, but the, maybe we want one creature with the four toughness. <laughs> I mean, a three, like, so the thought would be, do we want to have one creature that can block stuff, stuff like tokens or just that one power that's like a three one or something like that? Sure, but how, how much more often is a one four gonna be better than a three two with flash? Eh, eh. I think, I think I'll take the I'll take the third Whisper Agent. Alright, now we can take Guildgate or Dazzling Lights. Get the trick. I think we'll just take the trick. Sure. Radical Idea I do like in this deck, because it's one that you can just con or surveil to the graveyard, and then it's there waiting for you if you start flooding out or something. But wow, look at Boros being just wide open. Uh, maybe not Boros being wide open, but these are like dis Direct Current and Bodyguard are pretty solid cards. Undercity Uprising might be a pretty decent splash, too. Gives our creatures Death Touch, which we have a lot of. I'm going to take the Uprising. <laughs> Could take the Swarm Guild Mage. Not super excited about that. I think the Electromancer is just our better option here. Maybe we end up more in the Is It deck. And if we do, this is going to be our deck, even though we have literally no benefit of taking it right now. But I don't think anything else is very exciting. Alright, I'm not upset to see Child of Night Wheel. I think this is a solid pickup. Wish Coin Crab, I think we'll have better options or opportunities to get. And Lotlith 
Lot Lith. I can't say this word. L Giant. Uh, I'm gonna take the Child of Night. I think the Life Link is quite good. I think the two power in the set. In what was it? M19. It just felt kind of like a meh card, 99% of the time. But I think every game I've played against the Child of Night, it's been a problem for me. And I do. I want to. I want to kind of get back to basics and quit trying to be cute, you know, and just have good, a good solid curve out. Ooh, do we want Ocarina Assassin or do we want like Crushing Canopy? I think the Assassin's just got more playability around with it. Creeping Chill. I mean, it's a great card if you can surveil it for free, but if you don't, then you're pretty pretty sad to not. I'm gonna take the removal. I'm gonna take the Iron Shell Beetle. Whoops. Locket or Barrier of Bones. We'll take the Locket just in case we end up wanting to splash Golgari. Pax Fervor, sure. Some combat trick action. Okay, well, of course, Demir is, like, never going to be open for us. But I don't think we passed too much Demir stuff, so maybe this pack will be a little bit of a payoff. That would be nice. What is this card again? So it just helps us remove a big threat that they have that we don't want to deal with. But it doesn't really, because then they just get to draw cards and unlimited. That's a pretty brutal thing to deal with. All right, so I think we take a counter spell here. Cover-up or Disdainful Stroke? I think I like the Disdainful Stroke more. Unexplained Disappearance? Sure. Could take this to pay for the draft with a ticket. That's not very exciting. We'll take the Unexplained Disappearance. <laughs> it's going to be really hard to get me off the Demir colors right now because of I feel like the card quality, although Golgari is definitely... Like, Undercity Uprising, I think, should be right here. I think right now we just kind of plan on playing this. Uh, the... Oh, oh. Yeah, why don't you just let me, like, drag and drop wherever I want it? I like the Beetle. Ocarina Assassins. I guess no one else likes Ocarina Assassin. I guess I'm too high on it. I don't know, because we've seen 12 of these so far. Piston Fist Cyclops is... Pretty nice, especially if we can get a maximized altitude with them and just go crazy is it stuff. Do we start pivoting here? Is there anything that's exciting for Golgari? Rhizome Lurch kind of works. What do we lose if we go towards Golgari? We lose on the consistency of the Whisper Agents, but we could pick up something like Rhizome Lurcher, which is pretty annoying card if we can start getting just a lower curve in general. Fist and Fist Cyclops though I think is just a really strong playable but we need it's basically a double blue force which is not very strong and now I'm wishing I would have taken like one Demir Informant instead. I'll take the Cyclops. I just like the Cyclops. Wow another? Jeez. Okay. Okie dokie. All right. Well, there's nothing like there's nothing exciting in these packs. What is happening? What is happening? Arboretum Elemental. I've yet to be able to play in any deck I've played it in. So I'm looking at that card as more and more like a trap. I think we'll just take like a Thought Erasure. I don't really want another three drop right now. Cause that makes sense. Dark Blade Agent's not a bad grab here. Right. Right? Sure. Our three drop spot looks fine. We need to start getting a bit more of a top end. Vicar Spore Worms, meh. Yeah, this is not what I was expecting. We're not getting nothing good. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. You guys are going off. Let me. Rearrange. Ooh, a House Guild Mage is a solid pickup. Yeah. We just need we need some top end. We need some top end action. We need some surveil payoffs. Anything? 
No. Okay, right now, maybe we're just going to be using Undercity Uprisings to just clear our opponent's board over and over. I think I'm going to take a gate. <laughs> yeah, like getting past Whisper Agents so much early on, I thought for sure we were going to be looking pretty decent. But right now, it doesn't feel like that. Take some removal for flying for this. Uh, maybe we main board it just because our cards are so weak right now. We'll take the Lurcher. We should take a second Lurcher. Or do we want something like a Maximize Alt? We don't really have any like creatures besides Piston Fist Cyclops that would really do well with this. Vidalcan Mesmerist is kind of a cool card. I think I'm going to take the second Lurcher. Oh boy. Sure, we'll take the next canopy in case we run into something dumb. Like someone who has a 3 3 flying hexproof creature. We've already got one Pax Fervor. We'll take another Dazzling Lights. Veil Shade, sure. Alright, well, Health Collector is a card. It's just something that we could kind of ramp into. Well, not ramp into, but. Our mana base is going to be terrible. Oh, and then we see a dead weight. Is Pelt Collector worth anything? All right, we got to check. Pelt Collector MTGO price. I can type. Online, 50 cents. So in that case, I think we just take dead weight. Sure. <laughs> Capture sphere something. It's removal. It's flash. Helps deal with stuff that you know we don't even want it to go to the graveyard necessarily. Like if they have an Atrata, capture capture sphere is awesome for that. Sure. Oh, I do like this card a lot with the guy that gives negative two to when you attack. Hired Poisoner, I think, is a fine pickup, though. Ooh, Hatchery Spider. You're just like a fun card, aren't you? I don't think you're worth anything, though. When you cast a spell, reveal the top X cards. You may put a green permanent card with a man across X onto the battlefield. Rest on the bottom of your library. I mean, it could be like a top end for us, but it, I don't think it is. I think we should take the gate here, honestly. I don't really want, like, yeah, I guess I'd take another one of these. I'd take something else, but I think the gate just gives us value because we got a fair bit of Golgari cards. Crush a canopy for the sideboard. So this could be our 17 land deck. This feels not very good. But it will be consistent. It can be consistently not good. Another guild mage, interesting. Interesting. Call Harpooner is actually probably our best grab here. It's got reach, it can fight some stuff. This just keeps stuff down. Undercity Uprising's kind of removal. What do we have for removal? One Uprising, a Capture Sphere, a Necrotic Wound, a Dead Weight. So we've got four cards that are considered removal. We've got 14 creatures, nine other cards. I think I like the Harpooner. I just like the Harpooner. But a second guild mage would have been, yeah, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. All right, Crawl Swarm can kind of be a win condition. It's not a... It's not a fancy one, but we've got a lot of creatures. A 4-1 flyer is not easily dealt with. We have to cut two things. I'm not feeling as good about this Piston Fist Cyclops. I just don't like the double blue in it. And something like Burglar Rat. 
Ooh, a Siege Worm comes our way. Siege Worm can work just because it's a big card. Or do we just take something a bit easier to cast, like a Crawl Foragers that gains us life? Second Undercity Uprising. I feel like the Siege Worm's our best, best potential pull there. Let's see what else we can get past to us. Nothing too exciting. Again, we have 14 creatures, 9 other spells. I don't know if I... Disdainful Stroke... Disdainful Stroke, no. Um, Unexplained Disappearance. I like the card, but I'm not blown away by it. But do we want that over, like, a second Guild Shade? Maybe we just really want to bounce some stuff? No, we'll take the Vigus War Worm, because Vigus War Worm... Maybe we end up wanting that. Passable Adept can work, too. Keep making stuff unblockable. I think that's a good pickup late. If we're into a real grindy game. Sure. Sure. Wow, 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 wow. Sprouting Renewal. Uh, Generous Stray might work better, though. Just drawing us a card if we need it. Another Lurcher. Sure. I think we have enough two drop options. Another poisoner, sure. I don't think we want a third. Maybe we do. Still need to cut one card though. Packs for okay, so Golgari was clearly more open. Did I hang on to this too long? What if I just cut all the blue? So how does this feel compared to us playing stuff like Unexplained Disappearance, Counterspell, a couple combat tricks? I feel like this is going to be more consistent. The Capture Sphere and the Atrata. Is there something better than Capture Sphere so it's less reliant? I mean, we're only playing a few blue cards, I think. I think we'll try this. We fell into Golgari just because there were so many average cards thrown to us, and we can start off with great Demir rares, but... We just can never just bring it home. You know what I mean? Bring it home. Okay, let's add some basic lands. Four blue? Are you insane? Seven, five, three. Okay. Sure, let's save deck. We'll see y'all in match one. Yes, we will play first. Keep this hand. I now realize Whispering Snitch probably should get cut. Because it doesn't do much in our deck. Ooh, they mulligan to six, which isn't a big deal on the draw. Waiting for, is it sucker? Like, take that, sucker. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But Under City Uprising, Under City Uprising is a nice pickup. Whispering Snitch could be good if we're up against something like Boros. Well, that's a, see, Child of the Night. If they don't play something turn two, we'll be feeling kind of good. Even if they do play something turn two, we could just dead weight it. Swing for two. Four point life swings are fun. Yeah, that's an annoying card. That's worth dead weighting. Hey, there's a Trotta. We need a fourth land though, deck. We start with three lands, definitely not complaining, but if you wanna throw us uh, an island next turn, I would not be upset about it. I'll even take the Demir Guild Gate. Are they stuck on two lands? No. Ooh, are they gonna kill our lifelinker? Going to guess no as well. Begin combat. Attack with both. They could do the whole block before damage, sack and kill. Yep. Okie dokie. All right, they mulliganed, but somehow we are the ones now falling behind. 
because we can't draw lands. I love this game. Um, yep. Okay. That was not ideal. I was expecting them to block, but kind of telegraphed it too much, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, somehow we've, us not drawing a fourth land's a pretty big deal. Are they not going to attack? My curiosity is peaked. Interesting. Hey, we did it. We got a fourth land. Now, do we want to just like murder she wrote and get rid of this thing or try and attack again and they do something like sure strike because the issue is it the target you fight star which you don't control sure just get rid of this because we don't really have any synergies with this it's kind of a one three for two doesn't really do much for us. Okay. Attack for two. 13. Are they stuck on four lands? Oh, maybe they are. Do I want to play a creature or do I want to hit them for five? No. Damage, and sure, we'll play Burglar Rat. Discard a card. What could it be? Maybe they're just, ooh, ooh, all right, so they are Boros. Getting rid of the double white card, not drawing a land again. That would be frustrating. All right, we have two of our blue cards, but nothing to do with them. So this will be two, three, four, five. So now they're down to five. If they only play one creature, we could potentially necrotic wound it to death. Yes. Great play, my friend. Right, because we have two in the bed, yeah. Go away. Okay. Well, we won because our opponent had mana issues, although so did we. We were just able to deal with it a bit easier, so that's not too shabby. We know they're Boros though. Is there something we want to swap? Like Whispering Snitch in that regard may not be bad. Having the three toughness, I can just keep blocking. And we do have, do we have any surveilling in this? We have literally no surveilling. Um, 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 um. I guess we don't really have any good sub options for it though. We don't have any three cross creatures that we can just throw in. We can set their own 03 defender that we can later sacrifice to draw a card. Nah. All right, fingers crossed that we can just get some better curve outs and our opponent just runs into the same problems, I guess. Uh, on the draw, we have double black. Yeah, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. They mulligan to six. That's unfortunate. They mulligan to five. Okay, we kept five. They scry to the They put one card on top, okay. Torch carrier. Don't I just don't like that card. I like that they're playing it. Not a huge fan of it. We just said you two he they said good luck, have fun. I said you two man, sorry about the bad starts. Yeah, the shuffler has been Swear word, butt cheeks, for me off the last two weeks. They need to do something about it. Man, I hear you. Cost 
costs too much money to be having bad draws. Sorry, is that annoying if I type? Should I just never type ever again? Hired Poisoner. Sago. We need land deck, please. We got 17 lands, I believe, in a thing called lands. <laughs> I was kind of worried there for a second that I, like, passed. And then they just got turned two. I, I forgot this thing is haste, too, so I guess that's fine. Just waiting. Oh, yeah, they're rant. Are they ranting now? I mean, that's part of the game for real, but this is, like, weird. Like, certain games. Like, game three for packs, always mana flooded. Just weird situations seem to be pretty much the same every time. I have had, I think it was MTG Strategist told me, when you start a, a game with four lands in your hand, your first draw is always a land. And I will say, every single time that I've thought about that since he told me, it has been a land. Which makes me like wonder that it's just, someone needs to do some data collection deck what is happening please land we've got got some stuff like just a forest and an island so that's that's all we need whenever you gain life you may pay two if you do draw a card and create tokens with lifelink that's a great card to have all right well we need to start doing stuff. Oh, I forgot, yeah, Whisper Agent Surveil. So, there you go, there's some synergy for you. Yeah, they wanna get rid of the Death Touch. Totally understandable. They're down to two cards in hand. The problem being that they have a card that lets them do nothing but create creatures. So, that's a problem. They won't be able to draw cards for a little bit. Yes, we will keep you on top for sure. Uh, five. We need another... Okay, so this helps. We do this. So when they create their token, we get to keep our lifelinker around. We can combat. Get to attack for six. They can block. They gain one. We gain three. I'm feeling good about where we're at. Oh, wait. They might just be tilted at this point and being like, whatever about it. I think they were just f 6 there. Yeah. Words were said. We'll, we'll say that. <laughs> They're still in a pretty rough spot, though. Because creating the token, they can't draw from it. If they get to their sixth land, though... We could be in trouble. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can convoke out Siege Worm next turn, though. I think we're okay. This game, I've drawn two spells. That is not... I'm going to go with Heffing normal. All right. Um, I feel like we just attack. We could play Siege Worm, but... Yeah, concede game. Let's not do that. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yep. Like, if they want to block this, sure, and go down to seven. That's fine. Oh, I messed up. I meant to play Rise of Lurcher. I press six. So dumb. Ooh, ooh, two tokens. That's not ideal. Okay, well, Crawl Swarm kind of helps us end the game too. So they're gonna block here. They gain two, they draw a card. We knock them down. Actually, wait, why don't we do this? Because we get to kill one of these. They still gain life, but then they can get rid of the whisper agent they can't get rid of our lifelink but also if we don't let them gain life then they can't um yeah let's just do this
If they don't gain life, then they don't get to draw a card. So we, we keep them from drawing a card there. I really messed up not playing the Lurcher. Now they can draw potentially three cards. Or they can play something big. If they play something big, we can hopefully just kill it with Undercity Uprising. Dun da da da. What's gonna happen? Ooh, Unicorn. Not bad. Not bad at all. But I will be happy to kill this card. Do they want to attack? Smart. Hey, there's an island. Sure, we'll play it. Play you. You gots to go. Begin combat. They have no cards in hand. So I think we're okay here. They will get to draw one card though. But see, this is why you don't impatiently press six like I do all the time. Because if we had Rhizome Lurcher out as a whopping 4-4, four, four, then there's no way they still have a chance. Okay, they get an extra card though. So they're definitely not out of it. They need to play two creatures though. Well, they don't though, because the tokens will keep keep them afloat, as it were. Us being at 30 life, it kind of feels a little inevitable, but if they like create a token, draw Sure Strike and another combat trick, then they kill the Siege Worm before I even get to do damage. Say they pump their creature up to a five something, six something, they're at 10 life. Uh, I think I'm still okay. <laughs> Beast, they're still chatting. Sorry, dude. Good luck, man. And then you give him the that face, you know, like. Sorry, bro. I don't know. Don't know what to tell you. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Join match. Looks like we're gonna be on the draw. Bread and butter. Yo, enough of these two landers. But I think it's worth keeping because we get any land, we got lock it. They mulligan to six. We'll keep it. Look, I think our deck's pretty decent though because we have a nice curve and we've got some decent power throughout in the sense that we can take care of early threats and our late game's not too shabby, just having Golgari cards. All right, that's not, that's not ideal. Hey, we gotta land. All right, play some rat action. Why did I not play higher poison or turn one? What am I? Ugh. I'm gonna blame my mic being kind of in the way of my monitor. Hey, we got them to lose one use of direct current. Now they can just jump start it. My favorite thing. Now we did it because we're just trying to throw them off. We can play Locket and then play Hired Poisoner with it. Perfect. All right. All righty then. Begin combat, attack, take one. And now we're going to do some ramping because we're good like that. Now this creature is not so impressive against an is it deck because, well, they just have easy ways to deal one damage, if not more, to stuff. With stuff like direct current, you don't say. All right, they're hitting their land drops. What else you got? One, two, three. Murmuring Mystic, my favorite thing. Okay, well, this needs to just die. I don't even want to draw. I just want to kill that thing. Dun, dun. One, two, three, four, goodbye. keep losing the race but losing that might be a pretty big blow to them 
Because as soon as we can get something big -er than a three toughness creature. And if we get Child of the Night down, then they have to start... Uh, they can't keep attacking because the life gain will get us back into it. Erratic Cyclops. Jeez. Play all your stuff, why don't you? Good thing is they can't, like, really attack and completely ruin everything because we have the Death Touch. But all they, all they have to do is Direct Current, kill this, makes this into a 3-8. We don't really have any answers for it. Not ideal. But they're out of cards. We have an ability to draw more cards with our locket. If we can get a Trotta down too, that would be huge. Yep. What you did there? I see it. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay trading there. Alright, we're down to 11. Please don't play anything. Be in combat. Are they just going to bounce it to our hand? Nope, okay. Well, that helps. And now we will play our Lurcher. It's a 5-5. Five, five. That's respectable. Next turn, we can really fish for an island if uh, nothing else comes up. They don't have any other jump start, right? No, okay. So they're, they're needing to draw out. That's their game plan. Threats, 5 mana, not 6. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Attack and attack. Yeah, having an 08 is annoying. But I think if we can get down another 5-5, five, five, like that's that's gonna be good for us here. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Fresh faced recruit. Doesn't really help with our child of night much. Uh, let's just pop this. Draw two cards. Not exactly what we're looking for. All right. Um, <laughs> I don't want to trade the Child of Night. I'd rather just leave it back. Okay. Why did I attack with that then? You saw nothing. I saw nothing. Cause I'm trying to bait them into the two mana cost spell I have. Hey, we did it. Now here's where it gets countered. Veiled Nightshade. A Trot of the Silencer. Doesn't get countered, interesting. Sago. We've done all we can here. Now next turn, us getting rid of Erratic Cyclops is going to be huge, assuming they don't draw some answer for it. But now that they know we have it, they're probably going to keep Capture Sphere back if they can. Begin combat. Attack with all creatures. Wait for blocks. I think we just keep this alive. Sure strike. Nope, counter spell. Okay. It's still not bad for us though. I mean, they get the surveil one, unfortunately. 
but we're gaining two life still. Getting rid of their creature. Getting rid of that creature. They're down to seven. And we've got two decent threats on the board. That's not good, because now they can kill this. But we have a 5-5. Five, five. And a dead weight. All right, what do they got? Drawn cards, looking for answers. Can't really be a big creature either because we only got three mana. All right, hey, look, we're winning games. We're doing curve out things where you play cards and things are good. Well, fingers crossed we can just keep doing what we did that game. Now, again, we played an opponent that had to mulligan. This is keepable. Four lander. All right, so I said if you keep a four lander, your, next, your first draw is... A land let's see if it holds true yep no quick plays though that's not exactly good for us right now it's shaping up to be all bad for us they gotta have a three drop nope uh, duh, duh, duh. Let's just try and be as efficient with our mana as possible. And then next turn we can go Crawl Swarm. That's putting some quick pressure on them. Although if they go Mystic, Murmuring Mystic, that's not going to feel very good. Ooh, Direct Current, okay. I know they can just do the same thing they just did, but hey, what are you gonna do? They got five cards in hand, so, ooh, they have two direct currents, wow. What, what are you doing? Let's just keep putting creatures down. I don't really wanna put Veiled Nightshade down because then if it dies, you know, I could keep pumping it to keep it alive. If I put Lurcher down, it's a 4-4 as well. Let's do that. All right, adding power to the battlefield. Maybe our opponent's just flooding out and they're gonna double jumpstart their direct current. Nope, they're just passing, okay. Just because they're going to capture sphere this thing. Yep, that's all right. Attack four two. Main. Play you down. Play you. Say go. All right, we got blue for our own capture sphere. We can deal with their big old erratic cyclops. Direct current, Child of Night, yep. Unfortunate. One, two, three, four. Let's just attack. So we can pump them. They got five cards in hand though. Are they really just waiting on six mana? Because I can't imagine that's it. Fresh faced recruit, not ideal. But they can't really block with it either. Ocran Assassin. Okay. We take two. Main. Oh, I did not ta tap right for that. Dang it. 
That was dumb. Because now I can't use my locket because I don't have access to just green and black. That's me giving myself a thumbs up. Misplays four days. Yeah, we'll take two. We will take two. Don't mind if we do. So I can jumpstart Sonic Assault and Direct Current. Let's just make sure we don't let our creature die because we're F6. Okay. All right, well, that stuff's done with. Crater Maker. I feel like we're kind of stuck here. But we could attack, one, two. Yeah. No blocks. We'll do it once. We'll do it twice. At the old ball game. <laughs> now if they tap out, we can use our locket, but if we if we tap out then they just sacrifice this. No, we'll take four. Down to 14. What else you got? Okay. Drop two cards. Let's do this. Iron Shell Beetle. They're gonna counter it. Don't suspect. Now this just makes it kind of permanently safe from at least this annoyance. say go. Ooh, this is a grindy. This is a tight game. So what are we, what are we hoping for? Rift Bolt is a rough, yeah. Tisk tisk. Bro, come on. All right. Well, here we go. We gotta, we gotta kind of like, you know, pull this out of them. Just so be like in response, kill this, and then we just throw cap. No, I think we still take damage for a turn or two. Yeah. Because if we play Crawl Harpooner, then they just jumpstart Beacon Bolt. Oh, I can't even play it. Jeez. Just tapping like a complete moron this game. We need to draw better, though. Where are, where's our other Rhizome Lurcher? Uh, problem is, if they get their big thing, like, we definitely die. So I think we just have to hope they don't have the six damage uncounterable spell. And that we can start drawing some more creatures. Let's just do this. Go away. Play that. Wait for that to die, say go. No. 
It's monstrous 9-2. If only we could give it haste. You know what I mean? Hey, a frog. Okay. So I think at this point... Put our own capture sphere on it. Say good day. Play to land. They can now beacon bolt. Should have waited to the end step. Tremendous. Okay. We're at the mercy of the top decks. Let's have some nasty top decks. What could be a sick top deck? Siege Worm. Although, I can't imagine they don't have a counter spell. Hey, ask and you shall receive. Counterspell. No! Maybe they have a second capture sphere or something more annoying. Fresh faced recruit is not going to do it. Do they have any jumpstart? They have a sonic assault that they can use. Begin combat. Sonic Assault to the face. Yep. We are not going to pass playing our Rhizome Lurcher. This time, we have a 9 9. A 5 5 trample and a 9 9. Oh, good lord. If they have. A direct current or anything that can just hit us straight up we are hurting well they do have to block though so it's gonna help them surveil which might give them some type of jump start shenanigans but we may actually have them here nothing went to the graveyard interesting Nice, dude. Look at us starting off 2 0. What? Ugh. Yes. Finally. Dude, just going 2x makes me feel so good. The fourth draft that I did, because this is number five, you might be like, playlist, wait, went 3 to 5. I put the fourth for my Patreons only. Um, so if you want to view that, check out my Patreon page in the description below. You know, it'll be down there. But, ooh, this feels good. This feels good to just curve out. You know, don't. Don't just wait till, oh, turn nine and everyone's got mana and everything's set up that they want. Our deck, even though I was kind of down on it, I'm kind of happy that I pivoted to be a bit more flexible, play the cards that came to us, like the Golgari cards, and not try and force Demir. I think it's working out for us. M. Belcher. Ooh, this hand is so close. We have all three colors, but it's only a two-lander. And they mulligan to six. Like, if we get to the third land, we got Stray, which I feel will help us get to the fourth. We're playing for a trophy. We'll keep it. We'll be a little greedy. Ooh, they're mulliganing to five. That helps. They put one card on the bottom. Okay. Land. Oh, you're so close. You're so close to being what we need. Any land. We've got two shots at drawing a land. All right, Selesnia. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Please, deck. Please. Third land. Just the third land. Three shots at it. All right, is this how it ends? Me keeping it greedy? I mean, two on the draw with, oh my gosh, dude. Having death touch though could be pretty beneficial for us. <laughs> yep, 
Yo, just a third land, please. Please. Okay. It's not ideal, but, you know, having a death touch, having a removal, having them having prey upon. Hey, we did it. Okay. Uh, I think we just go... Do go generous stray. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like the card draw is better than the locket right now. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep the hired poisoner back. We'll do this race. Like, there are three cards. You know what I mean? We we have everything in our hand that we need except for land. This should be a... I don't want to say easily winnable, but we are definitely... You know, if they had the advantage line, we would be owning the advantage line. Yeah, we'll trade. Because they can play something bigger. That's okay. We don't really mind it right now. Yeah, sure. There we go. Let's do this. And then do this. So even if they want to attack, that's fine. Next turn we can Undercity Uprising, trade, trade. Swing, batter, batter, swing. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can even play Siege Worm next turn, which would be awesome. Guess we will take the four. They have their own Siege Worm. Interesting. Alright, we're getting our land at least. So we'll do Undercity Uprising. We will fight their Siege Worm. And we will attack. Look at that life swing. Say go. <laughs> we also have Capture Sphere to deal with this. Like, that's a really big help. We can still play Siege Worm. Yep. We got two cards in hand, though. Ooh, that's not good. That's not what you want to see. Because <laughs> if they can keep top decking creatures, we're going to be in trouble our removal is going to run out and they're going to be able to start blocking and doing all kinds of shenanigans but next turn we can capture sphere right and then packs favor so maybe that'll help us just get the board state we need but if they keep top decking creatures like that oh my goodness a second one jeez jeez okay well that's what a uh, capture sphere is here for no attacks Be in combat. Do we attack with both? Sure. That's it. Okay. Oh, it still dies. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm so bad at math. I'm like the world's just... What am I doing? What am I doing? Centaur Peacemaker. Quit drawing creatures. Stop it. Stop it. You're doing... You're not helping me. You're doing bad things. Well, I had to do it, though. No, because then it... Yeah, it still kills their creature. That's the point. Alrighty. 
We want to win the race and hope they don't have a combat trick of their own. Like if they block here, I'm gonna be nervous. Oh boy. Okay. Yep. Lurcher is going to be big though. 7-7, seven, seven, that's a problem. Plus we're going to be able to draw some... Ooh, they got red? What are they splashing red for? What could it be? Ivanda. Upkeep, Crawl Harpooner. <laughs> seven, seven. Taken seven, okay. They drew a land again. That's what we like to see. Us having this 4-1 flyer too is a big deal. Attack for seven. And combat main. Five. Oh, I could have just given it to this, couldn't I? Oh, that was dumb of me. Whoops. <laughs> no. I wasn't even thinking that I can give it to another creature. No, no, no. Just it gets pumped. I'm thinking Vigaspore Worm. Okie dokie. All right. They're looking for answers. They are looking for answers. As long as any two. Nope. It has to be. Well, the, all right. So the flyer's getting through. Boros Guildgate enters the revealed card zone. Sure. Unless they have the fog. Uh, do we play Iron Shell Beetle? Because if they have Crushing Canopy and they kill this, I want to be able to bring it back. But if we play the Beetle, they can do block, block, they take five exactly. So it doesn't matter, never mind. Okay. All right, nice. Look at that, game one. Okay, so these are gonna be some grindy games. I feel like Worm is gonna be a good play here. Whispering Snitch, I feel like, is not gonna do much for us. I think we play another Rhizome Lurcher. I think we keep. Hmm. Starting with that Boros Guildgate. Starting with that Hired Poisoner. All right, third land, come on. Come on, third land. Yes. Attack. Wait, wait, gotta play land first. Okay, burglar rat. Discarding, making our opponent discard cards. That's always a, a good feeling. <laughs> Just a measly land. Another guild gate. Jeez. Maybe they got like gargoyles for days or something. Alright, well we're drawing the land we need. Play it lock it. So we're at three, four, five, six. Next turn we'll be so we can play Siege Worm next turn. That's always a solid play. Into an empty board state. That's slightly less exciting to play against. <laughs> Man, this card is so good. But if we can Necrotic Wound it, then it gets exiled instead.
So we'll just take the four here. Assuming they have another play. Like we get Undercity Uprising to use like Burglarat to kill whatever they play here. If they can learn to tap their lands. And then Necrotic, then we attack, they block. We use Necrotic Wound to make it a negative three, negative, or minus, a three, three. And then once it's dealt enough damage through Siege Worm, it's exiled instead of killed. That would be a pretty good turnaround for us, but uh, we're also gonna be behind on cards. Okay, sure. Well, now we can't do what we just said we wanted to do. Interesting, interesting. Now we could Undercity Uprising just to kill this. They still have a 6-6 six, six, though. And then they're left with two two twos. And I don't really want to trade this for this. Could just try and win the race too. Not a bad draw. Is it mattering doing six versus five? Six, twelve, eighteen. Ooh, if they attack, we can still block and then use Necrotic Wound to get lethal there, because this becomes lethal damage. <laughs> They're like, wait, do I want to risk it? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Two, two, that they can pump to be a four, four. All right, Crawl Harpooner will be a three, two. If we swing here, the issue becomes if they have a pump spell in their hand, then we're done for. <laughs> All right, I think we just pass, and then on the on their end step, we can draw cards. Maybe get to a Trotta, and she'll save us. Maybe they think we're just back here slamming our hands on our keyboard anyway. Do they attack? Okay, they do. Nice. indestructible but indestructible means it won't die because it's gonna get indestructible before the damage is dealt yep okay all right we need a blue need a blue nope Not quite. Two. And then we have Rhizome Lurcher, so we're definitely not out of it yet. We just have to hope that, hope that they don't have any more of those indestructible annoying cards. Because we have two creatures in the graveyard, right? One, two. That would mean that it gets minus two, minus two, it will die. Although we could just block and then try and have our Siege Worm survive. Let's do this. Flash this in. 
survey at one. Yeah, we'll keep you on top. Because next turn we can play Rhizome Lurcher, which will be big enough to block the 2-2. Two, two. And then keep Necrotic Wound, which will be big enough to block with, or keep Siege Worm. Oh, what is this? Their own Siege Worm. I think we might be one turn too late. Dun, 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 dun. No, 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 we should be okay. Okay. Let's go here and here, just to be safe. such a huge relief dude oh that feels so good oh they have no cards in hand Whew. oh my goodness getting to play a Trotta and then child of night that could be a pretty tough situation to come back from I don't think we just throw this away I'm just making sure they can't do it twice <laughs> After I've already attacked, of course, because that's what good players do. And now here comes the table flip. Atrato, what? What? This very well may be my last draft as a bachelor, and we trophy! Yes! Oh my. So yeah, I get married this weekend. Uh, very excited for that. I am more excited for that than the fact that I just trophied, but I'm, wow. I was not expecting a trophy with that deck, and I think that just shows how crazy off I am right now on drafting, and just being so fixated on, like, if we just, let's review our deck, can we review, review our deck? Uh, return to details, view your previous deck. So when you can focus on one, Playing the colors that are passed to you. Two, having a good curve, like we did. Having some pretty decent cards that you can sideboard in. And three, playing to your deck strategy and your... your oh, man. <sighs> playing to what your deck's supposed to do. Instead of me trying to continue to force Demir like I was, we got some gifts. Having four Rhizome Lurchers with a couple one drops, decent two drops, three drops, like that is going to be a difficult situation. And we... We would have been in trouble, I think, if we ran into a Demir deck and they had more flyers than we could deal with with, say, our Crawl Swarm and our couple removal spells. But this deck worked way better than I was anticipating. And I think that's because I prioritized creatures to make sure we had a good creature curve. And then two was past some gifts in the form of Rhizome Lurchers, a late Siege Worm. Yeah, wow. We trophied, yo. I am so excited. So, thank you all for watching. Hope life's treating you well. If you are interested in this content and you're enjoying it, please consider hitting that subscribe button. You could say it's a wedding gift to me. Or if you want to, like, you know, make my day, thumbs up, comment, let's chat a little bit. Just, I'm just in a good mood. This is a great way to end a day, I'll tell you right now. Yes! So we got a, we got a trophy with all five guilds. That's Golgari down. Golgari's numero uno. The other four guilds were coming, coming in hot. Am I done yet? Nope. Okay. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.